Introducing the Fae. If you've ever wondered what Ashley Green would look like in a tutu, well, here you go. Epic always classified the Fae as a support hero, however most people quickly figured out that she was far more suited for the mid or off lane. This didn't stop the AI from picking the Fae as your support every single game. For those of us that enjoy testing things out in the versus AI mode, Red the Fae was a real bitch. It was bad enough that I made an entire song about it. I'll spare you from having to watch that turd of a video and recite my favorite lines real quick. I'll follow you to Raptors, I'll take the river buff. If you don't fucking like it, you can eat my sparkly muff. Stealing all your murders is how I'll make a living. You got zero kills, I got zero fucks given. Harvest Nettles was the Fae's poke ability. While other casters could swing in with huge right hooks for a blast of damage, the Fae would stand back with annoying quick jabs that would eventually wear you down. This ability was much like Wraith's Knock Knock in that it was excellent for securing kills. Untamed Growth gave the Fae some wave clear. This was also an excellent team fighting ability if used correctly. Most people would try to throw this directly on top of enemies allowing them to simply walk out of it. If you really wanted to be effective, you would throw it behind enemies to prevent them from escaping or directly in front of you to deter them from chasing. Bramble Patch was the Fae's basic crowd control. Fire off a line of vines that would persist for a short time and slow enemies that came into contact with it. People often complained about how the Fae had no escape. That's because they've never seen Top Gun. To escape with the Fae, you could throw Bramble Patch directly in front of you, then immediately spin and take off in the opposite direction. You put on the brakes, and they fly right by. Back, move! There's a MIG Undertale! There's a MIG Undertale! What are you doing? You're slowing down! You're slowing down! I'm bringing him in closer, Merlin. You're gonna do what? I'm gonna hit the brakes, he'll fly right by. Now! Happened to see a MiG-28 do a 4G negative dive. Flytrap was the Fae's ultimate ability. It was stupidly overpowered in Legacy, however it became dysfunctional on Monolith. I believe it finally got fixed, but for a very long time enemies could break line of sight by standing behind a small pebble or perhaps a bit of fog. When you did get a chance to use this well in a team fight, it was all systems go. While the preferred method was to toss untamed growth before Flytrap, it didn't really matter. As soon as you used your ultimate, it was time to use every other ability in your arsenal. One thing I'll say for Flytrap, one of the most satisfying things you could do in Paragon was watch a Kalari try to stealth and flip away, only to be snagged out of the air by a vine and pulled into certain doom. Counter the Fae by waiting for her to fuck up her ultimate and then immediately raising her little fairy ass from the game. If you're having trouble hitting her, just wait till she encounters stairs and it inexplicably jumps in the air after hitting the second step. Try to make a smiley face out of flowers while waiting for minions to spawn on the Fae today. Waste all your mana by missing harvest nettles on the Fae today. Wonder why the fuck they even put support in her description on the Fae today. Will I miss the Fae? Of course, and I'll also miss Paragon. As much as I've made fun of the game, it was something that I truly enjoyed. There was something special about Paragon that went beyond the inclusion of a Z-axis in a third-person MOBA. The beautiful graphics, sound design, and perfect ability animations combined to create a uniquely visceral experience that would make your heart race and your palms sweat. In my opinion, that's the true sign of a great game. One that can, for brief moments, make you forget about all the bullshit of real life and transport you fully into its digital world. I'd like to take a brief moment to thank all of you for coming along with me on this adventure. I know that many people came to my channel only for the hero overviews and will probably be moving on now that they're over. That's perfectly fine and I truly appreciate everyone that stopped by to have a laugh with me. I also know that many of you will continue to visit my channel. I hope that my new content will live up to your expectations. Farewell my boo the Fay, and farewell Paragon. Sad goose.